Does your defending look like this or maybe this? As a defender, it can be a challenge to decide when to go in for the tackle or when to just delay and hold that defensive stance. Okay, I have a silly rhyme for you that is going to help. Yes, it's indeed silly. Don't judge me. Offensive player looking like they're going to crackle, go in for the tackle. Offensive player looking like they're going to just stay and not make a big play, then just delay. Now I'll go over what this means in non rhymey words. As a defender, your first thought should be to delay, especially if the attacking player has the ball close and has control of it and has slowed down. Now this is important. Delaying as a defender is getting in that defensive stance and backing up only when it's absolutely necessary. What I mean by this is not to just continuously back up and give the attacking player all the room in the world. Scare them a little and hold your ground and only take steps back when you need to stay with the attacking player. Now there may be times you're defending an attacking player that thinks they're the next Ronald and they will do a million moves and not really go anywhere. And at times, it may be tempting to go in for that tackle. In these situations, I like to do what I call a little poke to see if I can get them to lose control of the ball without completely stabbing for the ball and risking having that annoying player get by. If a player takes a bigger touch or loses control of the ball and you are confident that you can tackle and get it, then go in with all you got. If they do a move and take a big touch around you, if you react quick enough, you can get your body in between the player and the ball like so. If you're a little delayed but can get a touch on the ball, yeah, go in for the tackle. If the attacking player is about to shoot, make a big play, etc. My motto is do what you got to do to stop them. Remember my rhyme and your defending will be sublime. Okay, I'm done here.